hi guys welcome back so thank you for being here if it's your first time to be here my name is Sandra and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you thank you for being here so today I have an interesting topic that I really wanted to do for a long time because as much as it can inspire you it does inspire me too so yeah so I've been thinking about, you know, tomato paste business, yes. In my country, we import tomato from other countries. And then I was like, why not making our own tomato paste? So from that, I started to make research and, you know, think about how we can do our own tomato paste. So since it's so expensive to do the industrial production and it's, not profitable that much profitable to do the artisanal production we're gonna try to compare all of those two and see where we can come in between and think about the semi industrial production so yes yeah, so first of all we're gonna react on the one video we're gonna react on the industrial production of tomato paste and then there is another interesting video that I really loved I saw it some years ago and I really love that video where they show the artisanal part of the product producing uh, artisanal part of producing tomato paste yeah in Italy and after that we're gonna go and check out online how much we can get those like the machines so that, so that we can have an idea how we can produce tomato paste by using a semi industrial production but so let's get started According to a research I made online, they say that a tomato paste production line cost between 40 million to 90 million dollars. Can you imagine? And I don't think that this is affordable for a small person. This is for a millionaire or for a big corporation, not just a small person. So in this video, we're going to try to learn how we can do it with a, like a normal budget, not as these high but it's also nice to always dream big, yes, but it's okay also to start small. Now we're gonna, we're gonna watch a video which was made in Sicily where the tomato paste is made. In that video, we're gonna see how they do it in the artisanal way and we're gonna try to figure out how we can do it in the semi-industrial production. And later on, we're gonna check machines that we can use. So yeah, let's watch it. Hello, this is Elizabeth Minkeely, and I'm reporting from Sicily, where I had the great pleasure of spending time there this summer where I saw tomato paste being made. Of course, the tomatoes start in the field and then make their way inside, where they rest for two days before being rinsed in cold water. The tomatoes are then brought inside and cut in half. At this point, any defects are also cut off. Remember the first step, they wash them. The second step, they cut them. They are then put in a big pot, along with some seasonings, including bay leaf and onion. So they put them in a big pot, that's the second step. But these guys, they add seasoning, which I think that is really amazing to add seasoning. I think like this tomato paste has a beautiful flavor. Aww. The tomatoes are cooked over a medium high heat and this allows the tomatoes. So tomatoes are cooked. This is another stage. This is step number three. To start to break up and release their liquid. Once the experts have decided that it's reached the right consistency, the tomatoes are then drained. And here you can see the makeshift uh, drainer. That Step number four, the tomatoes are drained. Mm -hmm. It was made from a crate with an old tablecloth on top of it where it rests for about 20 minutes. The tomatoes are then put through a food mill. And, and then the tomatoes are put in the food, I think it's a, it's a processor actually. Yeah. And the food mill allows 
the t skins and the seeds to be discarded and the pulp to go into that big white vat that you see there. And actually it's gone, it goes through the mill twice and that allows all the liquid possible to be ejected as well. Once you have the sauce, it's left to rest overnight in the kitchen until the next morning when the sun comes out. The next morning we're in the courtyard where five wooden tables have been set up to receive the tomato sauce, which is now brought out from the kitchen. And you can see it's very, very liquidy. The tomato sauce is put into pitchers. This makes it easier to pour right directly onto the table. And you can see that a rim of wood is being left along the edge so that the tomatoes don't run right off the, the wooden table onto the floor. Once the tomato sauce has been distributed across the five tables, a metal spoon is used to create rivlets, and this allows the liquid from the tomatoes to start running towards the edges. And you can see the liquid is already starting to collect in those ridges, and eventually make its way to the edge, because the tables are slanted, and run off the edge, over the edge, and onto the flagstones. Now this is two hours later and you can already see, right before your eyes, the tomato sauce is already thickening, making its uh, way towards becoming paste. And all during the course of that day, we made more and more rivlets. Now this is the next day, this is day number two, when the five tables have been reduced to only two. And this is how much it has already begun to concentrate. And now you get a real sense of the sauce actually becoming a tomato paste. And finally, the last day, a bright and sunny day, and Jovan is bringing out what is the very last bowl full of tomato paste. What started out as five tables of sauce has now been reduced to this one big bowl. Of and, ah, okay. So if I got it, it just like, they dry it to remove the water so that it can be a paste. Interesting. Of incredibly concentrated tomato paste. the estratto di pomodoro, because that's what it's called here, will spend one more day in the full sun, becoming even thicker and more delicious until it's taken away, rest for two days, put into jars, and making its way towards the table. Yeah, this is great. Aww. I like this. I think the first step is to put it under the sun so that it can remove all the water and become, you know, tomato paste. So I think that that's the first step number six. So now we're, gonna, we're done watching this video. So we're gonna see what we need to make our semi-industrial production. What machine do we need? So they say the first step, it was to wash them. You can wash them by hand, that's okay. Thing like you can create jobs by giving that, removing that part and also UT is gonna help you because you know you don't have enough money in advance. So uh, step number two is to cut them. So we're gonna look for a machine that can cut tomatoes to turn them into tomato paste. Yes. So as you can see on the screen, the tomato grinder is between 3,200 to up. Yeah, so it depends on the the, like the quality and the, um, how big you want it so yeah you can choose what is good according to the production you want to do and according to the money you have so as you can see on the screen i just checked how much you can get a tomato grinder so that's what can help you to change your tomatoes in a kind of sauce yes and so that you can cook later and make it turn it into tomato paste and the next step they have they say the tomatoes are cooked so we're gonna look what like what machine we can use to cook those tomatoes and how much it can cost for these machines too the cheapest one is around 3000 renminbi and i see that they have many that are around 6000 so you can always get what is good for you and according to your budget 
In this video, they mentioned that after cooking the tomato paste, they have to drain them. So I don't know if after using the grinder, we still need to drain the tomato or after cooking them, we still need to drain them. So that's another research that has I'd have to be made. So if you want, if you want me to do that research, please let me know in the comment section. Yes. And now we're going to look at the packaging that the packaging machine that you're going to need to package your tomato paste. For the packing machine, it also depends on the quality and the quantity of tomatoes that you want to produce. And as you can see here, the cheapest price starts from around 3000 Oh, this is how tomato paste is done. I'm really, really inspired. I hope that maybe in a few years, who knows, I can do this or maybe you can do it too. And I'm really happy that I shared this idea. And I also saw all of this while doing this video. And yeah, it helped me also to make other research about tomato paste. So it's really inspiring to me. And it's something that I'm looking forward to do in the future. And I hope that it did inspire you. So if it did inspire you, please don't forget to leave it like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah. So. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and see you on Friday with another one. Till then, take care. Goodbye.